hello hello guys welcome back to another video this is the football connect i'm your host sam and we are back again with another video so we're going to be talking about the transfer news is that they have been breaking the news today and they've been keeping us updated with every single thing that is happening in the world of transfer news it has been a busy day today that i almost felt like it was the deadline day but guess what the transfer window hasn't even opened people we still have to watch manchester city play first for the transfer window to open but so many done deals that we got today and it was really exciting to see the movement of the window as fast as it is happening as we speak and things that are happening so one of the most bre the breaking news that we got which i think was really most important for the liverpool fans was the confirmation that liverpool and Michaelis have reached an agreement which is gonna be taking us for it's a five-year contract so it's going to be signing from now until 2028 with a, i don't think there'll be ever an extension to extend more and it's been believed it's 150k a week and what we have been told is this we were also being told that he was going to be paid around 60 million pounds but it looks like the release clause that his father set for him before he went to the world cup was all around 45 million pounds so that is a bargain for both Liverpool and Brighton so that is really good business which allows them to keep going forward but one thing that I want to make so clear to the world is this as the Liverpool fan I'm not going to buy down buy up this idea of saying that Liverpool recruiting team is doing a good deal because that is one of the reasons that has cost us from getting points praising the FSG for not doing big business of spending money make them feel like they are invisible they are visible then they can withstand the team without actually spending big for good players so i'm not going for that one at all the other one which we have heard was ogate the first news that came out earlier on was fabrizio ramon confirming that chelsea as a football club had pulled out of the deal and we were told later on that psg were the only team that was left and we were told that they only had to spend around 60 million euro but what made chelsea pull out was the amount of money that psg has offered the player we haven't been given the confirmation how much he was earning but we know that he already the medicals have already been done and they've already been confirmed and it's not only him it's gonna be him alongside Asensio who has already been given a contract Ogata I think is expected to have about a five-year deal or if, if it's not a six-year deal so this looks like PSG are going for big players who are not really that big but at a level where they can work together and try to create something also the other news that came out was that concerning PSG was that Nangos man is really almost about to be done and he's going to be working alongside Thierry Henry so what it means is that they are working so hard to put this one with the France legend alongside him so that they can create a stronger team that can last for a long time and I try to transform the team We'll keep you updated with that one. The other big news that has been going on how waves and causing waves was Benzema Leaving going to Saudi Arabia and what it really meant for Real Madrid if they're gonna be losing Benzema So it was already confirmed We know that Eden Hazard and Benzema are out and the only two strikers that are left in Real Madrid are only Vinny Jr. and Rodrigo so they need to strengthen and we have heard that they are interested in getting hurricane and the interesting news is that also hurricane wants to go to real madrid people thought he wanted to beat alan shira with the goal record and stuff but we can now see that the player is actually interested in success and he wants to go to real madrid the other player who could actually be following him as well you might not believe this it's kai harvard they're trying to, to get kai harvard from chelsea real madrid so that they can strengthen a big team and a strong squad that can challenge so there are so many transfer news that are happening people the other one that we're being told is this uh we could see harry maguire trying to stay united but this is another story that we need to confirm first but at this moment these are some of the news that has been happening we'll keep you updated as the time goes i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section which team is doing bigger good deals and what is really this means as we go forward click the like button subscribe to connect i'm out peace